All right, let's do this. Hey everyone, welcome back to another Moto Vlog video. In today's video, I'll be going to Decathlon uh, with my friends. Uh, you might be wondering where is your friends that you have mentioned? Well, they are in the car behind me right now. So they're currently behind me. Uh, you can see the light flashing on the on my side mirrors. That, they, that that is them. Yes. Yeah, we're just going to Catalon. I am alone. I'm the only person in the in the friend group who has a motorcycle license. So the rest are in the in the car. I'm not saying that all of them have car license, uh, but I'm just saying that uh, one of them has a car license and the rest are just, just like joining in. Uh. Alright, so for today's episode, the talking topic of the day is how to refuel petrol. Now, uh, uh, this is, how to say, most probably the most basic thing you need to learn how to do when you get your motorcycle license. But uh, for me, I know I can understand that if it's your first time going through uh, refueling your gas, you might not know what to do and the process required to do it. Interesting. So here I am to instruct you all on what to do, where to go, and yeah, just basically guide through your first time uh, refueling your gas. So uh, right now I don't really need to fuel my gas. So I'm gonna pass you guys to my past self uh, when I was refueling my gas. So uh, hope they teach you well. Okay guys, so this is shot on a totally different day. Uh, so you will notice camera angle is different, audio is a bit different. But, uh, so today, the, the, the reason why I'm recording this on a separate day is probably because uh, the day that I'm recording the vlog, uh, I didn't need to change gas or add gas, but now I do. So, uh, yeah, let's just go through a tutorial on how to... Uh, fill your gas uh, or your petrol so I'm making my way down to the gas station right now and I will see you guys when I'm there okay so we're about to reach the gas station uh, you can see it from up there so the first thing that you want to do is to look for an empty station so just look for a place that's empty Uh, if there's no empty spaces, what you do is you just wait behind uh, a bike or a car. So you just wait behind uh, somebody. So for example, I'm lining up behind number 3 or number 1. Uh, if you can look up there, there are the gas station has its own numbers. So as you can see, this guy made way already, so we can move forward. Uh, my advice to you is to have a towel uh, prepared. So, hold on, let me just take it out first. So you might be wondering, what is this towel for? Why do I need this towel? And that is, the answer to that is because you need it for in case the oil spills onto the bike. So if you're pouring it inside, there might be a chance that the oil might spill. So uh, you need to wipe that immediately if it spills. And why, why is that the case? Why do I need to wipe the bike if it spills? That's because the paint will fade away if you don't. Alright, so now what you want to do is you want to pull out the hose like this and pull this tab up. Some some of some gas stations are automatic, you don't have to pull it up, but some do. So just look out for that. And you just put the hose inside your gas tank and I'm sure you know how to shoot a gun, so just press the button. Lah. Now, while you're pulling, right, the gas might suddenly just do this thing where it goes, Kutung! there we go. You see that? Okay, we we'll do that one more time. There we go again. And there we go again. So what does that mean? It means that the oil inside the tank has already reached the hose 
of the the nozzle of the freaking uh, gas tube so it's telling you to pull up it's telling you to pull up the the hose there we go so then once it happens again you pull it up oh that's not supposed to happen okay as you can see i spilled a bit there my arms are a bit sore from working out <laughs> sorry <sighs> so you want to quickly wipe that off immediately all right after you wipe your mess the total cost for your thing will be here 13.87 so once you've done that you take note of the gas station number the the number that you use like the pump in my case mine is one and then you go inside the 7-eleven or whatever this thing is one pump one i got uh this card so what you do in there is you let them know your pump number so once you let them know your pump number they will do some tick 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 they will tick it and uh, they will let you know the price and if you have a safra card or their ntuc card or whatever you are you can get a discount so for me if you saw that i pulled a, 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 a ntuc card or something and it gave me a discount so it came from 13 dollars to 11 dollars and afterwards you're, you're kind of done that's it you just pay your fee via cash or card and you just leave and go there's nothing else much to it lah. so hopefully this helps you in your needs of having to pump gas into your motorbike all right back to the present ash and welcome back guys so now that my past self has taught you guys uh, the basic fundamentals and steps on how to go through your uh, refueling process now we're gonna talk about the difference between the different fuel and why they matter because uh, I know some of y'all might be wondering like what's the difference uh, between 92, 95 and uh, 98 so we'll give a bit of a rundown on uh, what's its use, what's its point and yeah exactly What is this loop? It's so steep! Ah! 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 Why is it so freaking steep and scary? Holy shit. Oh, Mark, how is it? Holy shit, that was scary. Road is empty as f and like the weather is cold. Like it's not cold to the point where I'm freaking shivering to death. Oh my god, this feels so good! Holy shit! Let's go. All right, so uh, let's talk about uh, what the different fuel. What's the point of the different fuel? So we have 92, 95, and 98. So to put it simply, right? To just make it short, right? Long story short. If you are using a bike of higher CC, you are required to like you are advised to use a higher uh, petrol quality. So if let's say you use a class 2A or class 2, most probably you will use a 98. But if you use a class 2B, most probably all you need is a uh, is a uh, 95 or 92. Depends. So let's talk about the difference between each fuel. So one difference that uh I've heard right from my so-called research right is that it reduces the amount of uh, knocking so that means it protects your engine so uh, I don't know very well about motorcycles but based on what I researched right the the fuel the higher the quality of the fuel that you use 
the better the the better the way the fuel is used as in like the fuel is more efficient in producing the amount of power required to push the engine to the power that is needed based on what I understand another thing that uh, people say about uh, better fuel about, high, uh, about premium premium fuel is that it basically allows you to have a higher mileage but honestly speaking uh, I've used 98 and 95 before and they don't pose much of a difference honestly like they both churn out the same amount of distance sort of uh, 98 will definitely have maybe some difference uh, maybe like it might go you go a bit further by a small amount but for me the difference is small enough to the point where it doesn't really like matter to me uh. they, are, they are like the same thing to me so I just keep using 95 instead of the 98 uh. another difference that people might say is that 98 gives more power than 95 or 92 you know like the higher the fuel the, the better it produces power and yeah that's true but I have no evidence to back up lah so I'm basing my facts based on what I research online so what I say may or may not be true but yeah How the hell did I catch up with them? That's weird. <laughs> Yo, why does this look so cool? You see this like view here that we have. I'm driving really slow, by the way, but I, I'm not. I'm not really affecting anyone on the road. But look at the street lights. It looks like a very like a. I, I don't know, there's like this thing that we learn when you do art, right? When things converge into... It, ah, one point lining! Like one point drawing or some shit like that. One, one point line drawing or something. It's, it's pretty cool actually. So anyways guys, uh, I honestly don't have a lot to say for today's video, for this week's video in general. Uh, I don't have much to say, but I want you guys to stay tuned for next week's episode because next week is a very special uh we're gonna have a very special collaboration so i hope you guys look forward to that and uh, I, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and uh, yeah i hope i can catch you guys in the next se uh, episode uh i'm really looking forward to releasing uh next week's uh episode uh why you will find out uh this coming monday or some or so but yeah i'll, I'll see you guys in the next episode bye bye <laughs>